Hi and welcome to this tutorial for C sharp on arrays. And arrays, um, you might be wondering what that is. That is um, strings of data. So, mm, uh, yeah, it is a variable that can store multiple values. I'll show you. So, um, in this video, I'm only going to use the integer uh, variable as an example. So, um, like, this is how you declare a regular integer variable, right? But we're going to make an integer array. And you do this by typing these square brackets here. So, um, let's show you what an array are. Uh, what a, an array is, but um, for now, just know that you make an array uh, like this, and you have to type equals new int and then uh, in new square brackets, and inside here you type the size of the array. So let's say five. Um yeah. So that is uh, now we have made a new integer array uh, called array and it is an integer array of size 5. So um let's 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 try to use let us like if you want to use this array for something um like um like um uh i don't know keeping track of scores so you can have an integer array named score and now the way you change one of the values in score um is by typing score once again these square brackets and inside here you type the position where 0 is the first one okay not 1 but 0 so we can say 0 is um, maybe 4 and then uh, score 1 is is 6 you could do it like this but an easier way to do it is setting this equal to uh, 5 6 3 7 and 2 now you take these curly brackets to symbolize that this is an array and then you type in each of the values and separate them with a comma because remember decimal values in C sharp is is a period and then you uh, so this is going to be an array of five but I can add as much as I want here and the array is going to be created for that now we can use the um, the loops we learned in the last lesson uh, to on, in the last tutorial to to um, to display all of these values. So um, use console right line um, scores. And um, now, we, for this, we want to use the for loop because we're going to be counting something. So, int i equals zero, the initializer. Now, while i is less than score dot length, so we get the length, the size of the array, the length of the array. So, why i is less than that? and then we close it up 
and then we type console dot right line score for team and then we take i plus one uh, put this in parentheses because uh, you remember that i is going to be zero so we have to do plus one plus um, is and then we do score and for the position we use i because i is an integer so that will work then at uh, last we do console dot read semicolon so what uh, let's see what this does f5 Okay, um, if we look at this and the values here, team 1 is 5, team 2 is 6, team 3 is 3, team 4 is 7, and team 5 is 2. And press enter to exit. So, we created an array with these values and the array is of size 5 and we go through every single um, value of the array with this for loop and type them out on the screen um... let's try um... let's try a string variable too um... string and Teams team name equals to open curl open close curly bracket. Um, you use strings here like this. Okay, so we will we'll say um, first team is going to be the cocoa nuts. Um, and um, the second team's going to be um, Rockies, and then third team, because we want as many teams as as there are scores. So uh, uh, for uh, you have a pretty good idea of how it works now, so I'm just going to pause the video and fill in the rest. Okay, so um, I gave him some names, and now we want to change this with the uh, team name and use the I. And um we can remove that. And uh let's let's test it out. F five. Okay, so score for the coconuts is five, Rockies is six, sharks is three, raging bulls seven, kamikaze rabbits is two. Uh so yeah. That is um, that is actually race, and we can also um, do some sort of uh, like. Uh, wait a minute, I'm just gonna pause the video and type something out so we don't use that much time. Okay, so I made some sort of program that displays every letter in the alphabet separated by a comma. So um then I used a char a char um ray and you declare them like this. This is the char, the single quote, 
is used to define chars. And yeah, let's test this out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. And there's a comma there. So, yeah. We can remove these spaces. Maybe it looks a bit better. Here you go. This is the alphabet. And um, so you could, for example, use this alphabet for a uh, text program or something if you're going to make it custom text program or something. Um, but yeah, that is actually um, a few nice uses of arrays. And um, actually, there's one more. If we just set this equal to a new care or wait. Wait, I'm just gonna do that for 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 this. Um, now we make a string called chars, and that string is going to be equal to a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u V, W, X, Y, and Z. And what we'll do is that we'll put a comma between each of them. Like that. And now we'll set the alphabet equal to chars dot split and we're gonna type a comma here so now something's gonna happen oh uh, wait oh yeah right um... So we have to do like this I believe? no well, let's just make this a... wait a minute. Okay, we didn't actually have a conversion, but uh, there is... we could just make it a string. And, um, yeah. So, if you'll see now, if we run the program, we get the same result. But now, it takes first this entire uh, string and then takes uh, first a uh, first it looks for the first comma then it takes what's before before that and puts it in the first element of the array and then next all the way up uh, like so so um, yeah you could do that if you wanted, but uh, yeah, this has been actually a little tutorial on arrays, and um, yeah, goodbye.